Hello viewers, welcome to Health Profile, I am Kritika and today we are here at Care Hospital, Dr. Madhuri is with us, Department Consultant Rheumatologist. Hello doctor. Hello. Yeah, how are you doctor? I am good, thank you. Doctor, what is rheumatoid arthritis? Uh, rheumatoid arthritis is an autoimmune disease. Autoimmune means auto is self and immune is your body's defense system. This defense system normally helps us in recovering from any small infections. If I get a fever, cold, cough, the, the body has a defense mechanism which will attack those virus or germs, mm -hmm. kill those germs and help our body to recover. So this is the function of the immune system or the body's defense mechanism. In rheumatoid arthritis, this defense mechanism of the body gets disturbed. There is some minor changes in that. Because of that, the body is not able to make a difference between what is the body's own normal tissues okay. and what is the outside infection or germs which should be attacked. What kind of changes doctor? So what kind of changes? Typically there are some hormonal changes, so things like pregnancy, post delivery, after menopause, these are and sometimes use of some hormonal therapies. These are some specific changes. Smoking causes some changes in the defense mechanisms. Sometimes there may be a genetic tendency, like a person who has a mother or like a mother or sister or some other female members are affected with this arthritis are at a higher risk. So it can be hereditary? It can be, but up to 5 percent, okay. not more than that. But people who have a family member with rheumatoid arthritis mm -hmm. are at a higher risk, risk. than the general persons who to get this problem. So when there is this the difference in the body's defense mechanism, the body's defense mechanism or immune system starts acting randomly. Okay. So when you, it is not like there is no immunity. The immune system is there. If such a person but gets it kills an, own tissue, randomly. Sometimes okay. it will kill the correct bacteria. Sometimes okay. it may attack your own cells. So what kind of signs and symptoms may appear, doctor? So because the mus muscles and the bones are spread throughout the body. In rheumatoid arthritis, the most common uh, parts which are affected are the bones. Okay. So it classically starts off with pain in the small joints of the hand and feet. There may be swelling and something called as morning stiffness. That is when you wake up in the morning, it is yeah, the people worst come pain and lot and stiffness in the morning. Yes, and they will not be able to move their hands yeah. lasting for at least one hour. And slowly when they start moving or sometimes people will say I went and took a hot water bath and I, then I felt better. Yes, yes. Right. So those kind of symptoms. In when the, arth when the symptoms are very severe, it may also cause some fever. So doctor, could you tell us why it is more painful in the morning? So the reasons for that are two, three things. So one, in general, it is a period of rest when you wake up in the morning. Temperatures, cooler temperatures towards morning. So that again adds to the stiffness. There are also some body normal hormonal or uh, some circadian rhythms of some hormones of the body which make the inflammation more towards the early hours of the morning. Okay. So as a combination of these three things, the pains are worse when we get up in the morning. Right. So, uh, yeah. so as the pains get severe, as the, the disease progresses, it may even lead to some fever in the people. So they may have some low grade fever, mm -hmm. more towards evening, a lot of fatigue and tiredness, disinterest in doing activities okay. and uh, weight loss, loss of appetite. All these are also features of rheumatoid arthritis. Mm -hmm. As the disease progresses, if it is untreated, these swelling in the joints can become permanent. That okay. is not just in the morning, throughout the day they may continue to have the swelling and pain in the joints. So, doctor, do you consider this as a dangerous thing? Again, it causes difficulty in your activities, but unless rheumatoid arthritis, sometimes rarely it can affect other organs of the body. It can cause involvement of the lungs, sometimes the heart, mm -hmm. sometimes the nerves, sometimes the blood vessels, rarely the kidney. If these organs are involved, then we say it is dangerous. But most of the times, it is limited only to the joints. Mm -hmm. It is difficult, painful, difficult in doing your own work, big person becomes dependent on family members or other people for support, yes. but in these stages it is not dangerous. So mainly which group can be affected by this Commonly rheumatoid arthritis? Commonly females are more affected, okay. women are more affected by rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, like I said, the lot of hormonal changes which happen in the woman's body yeah. as a course of normal life activities, they are some of the things which are responsible. Mm -hmm. uh, apart from that, 
post menopausal that is after the age of 45 or 50 years women are again more prone for developing these things yeah. but there are some cases where after delivery they have this onset of these pains males also can get rheumatoid arthritis okay. in general less common than in females males who are smokers tend to have a more severe disease than women with rheumatoid arthritis. Okay. So, how do you identify this doctor? So, once we have a person who has at least more than six weeks or one and a half months of these symptoms mm -hmm. that is pain, swelling, stiffness of the hand and feet joints or other joints with other symptoms like morning stiffness, difficulty in grip activities, maybe having a low grade fever, these kind of people we investigate with some blood tests. We do a test called rheumatoid factor, mm -hmm. there is another test called anti-CCP. We also do a few other tests to assess the level of severity of this disease. And sometimes we take some x-rays, if required some ultrasound or MRI may be asked if it is not, uh, these other tests are not giving the answer. So, doctor what is the treatment for this rheumatoid arthritis? So, the thing to remember with rheumatoid arthritis, control is very easy, but we cannot talk about a cure yet. So, sometimes people if they take, if they are identified very early that is within 6 months of their onset of their pains, mm -hmm. if they are identified and we start them on medication and get them into very good relief very fast, continue the medication for a reasonable duration which is at least 2 years, two then years. we can stop medication and see what happens. Okay. But most cases end up being on long term medication, mm -hmm. long term sometimes may even mean lifetime. lifetime. It is like a chronic disease like diabetes or hypertension. Medication can control the diabetes but you cannot cure diabetes. Medication can control the blood pressure but cannot cure blood pressure. Yeah. So unless, I mean there is some chance that if identified very early and treated very well and they attain good relief initially, mm -hmm. we may be able to go off medication. Okay. But what happens, the basic medications are medications which are going to decrease the inflammation. Mm -hmm. That generally includes some low dose of steroids and some immune modulate immune uh, immune suppressants that is d drugs which are going to modify the immune system commonly used drugs are hydroxychloroquine methotrexate sulfasalazine leflunomide so depending on the person's age group and their preference and their tolerance we select some of these medications for some people they may require more medication than this to help in controlling the disease there are some injections which are called as biologics okay. which are latest injections which are available. So, in it will suppress the immune system doctor? Partly. So, oh. then there is a high chance of getting infection I think so. So, when used in the correct doses mm -hmm. the medication acts that it will control the disease but not make you sick. Okay. So, that is why it is very important to use these medications under supervision only okay. by a rheumatologist mm -hmm. who is qualified to manage these diseases. Yeah, yeah and with regular follow up mm -hmm. while using these medications like you said because there is a chance of suppressing yes, the immunity yes. you are requested to see your doctor at least every 2 to 3 months okay. and depending on the person's situation they may ask for some regular blood tests also mm -hmm. to make sure that there is no problem with continuing the medication. Exactly. So doctor, uh, so what we can do to prevent this condition doctor? Prevention of rheumatoid arthritis is not easy. People who have a genetic risk especially for them, we advise them to have first weight, maintain adequate body weight, mm -hmm. regular exercise okay. and uh, again avoid smoking, avoid alcohol intake. Mm -hmm. And one more important thing which influences all the autoimmune diseases is stress. Stress. So, management of stress. Stress yes. is universal. Yes, yes. Everyone will have some form of stress, yes. small or large stress is stress. But how you manage the stress? So, you should have some form of mental relaxation and exercise for the body, physical exercise for the body. Most of these will prevent the flares that is if you have even have rheumatoid arthritis periods of severe physical or mental stress will actually worsen the disease. Okay. But if you are doing well as a person you are in like this condition or in any? In all autoimmune diseases. Okay. In all the autoimmune diseases stress worsens your disease. Mm -hmm. So, it is important to take good care of your physical and mental health. So, doctor what is your take home message? Rheumatoid arthritis is a common chronic condition, but multiple options are there to manage it. Medication is available to be used only under supervision. Apart from medication, there is still so much more you can do to help in controlling your disease. Thank you, Doctor. Doctor, how dangerous is this uh, coronavirus, Doctor? 
So coronavirus is dangerous, yes, uh, but uh, uh, does everyone who gets uh, coronavirus, do they die? No, uh, because uh, it, it, it right, right now the, the mortality is expected uh, rated at about 25%. Yeah. Uh, but then it, it does increase at extremes of because age. Because people are so terrified because of this. Yeah. So not everyone uh, who gets coronavirus dies. So we will have to understand that you know uh, how uh, you know Im Im immunocompressed, compromised or suppressed the the patient is. It depends on his earlier uh, you know innate immunity. Other diseases like you know liver disease, kidney disease, heart disease, severe uncontrolled diabetes. So if if, if a person if is really healthy, young patient does not have all these things, uh, then there is a there is a, a less chance that he he probably may die.